Inflammation is a key driver of heart disease and an old medication is getting fresh attention for its possible role in combating it. So does it really help? Well, a new study has given us a clear answer. The medication is a cheap anti-inflammatory called colchicine, and it's mainly used to treat gout, which causes painful joint swelling. But researchers noticed something unexpected. Those who took colchicine for gout were also getting other heart-related health benefits. So for instance, in a study published in 2012, researchers combed through patient records within a larger healthcare system. They were looking for those who had filled a prescription for colchicine, and they wanted to see whether they had different rates of heart disease. And it turned out that they did. Over a period of a year and a half, gout patients who took colchicine had less than half as many heart attacks compared to those who didn't take the medication. So researchers wondered, could we use colchicine as a treatment to drive down inflammation and protect against heart attacks and strokes? Well, to answer this question, scientists began to test colchicine in randomized controlled trials, and things were looking promising. A meta-analysis published in 2024 collected the findings from six of these trials involving over 15,000 people, and the results were dramatic. Those who took colchicine lowered their risks for strokes or other major heart-related problems by 27%. But as always, we need to look at the totality of evidence. So since that analysis was published, the results are in from two larger trials, and their findings cast doubt on the earlier results. So one found no benefit with colchicine after three years in 7,000 patients with a previous heart attack. And the other looked at the impact of colchicine over 8,000 participants who had already had a stroke, and after three months, the treatment made no difference in how often patients had additional strokes. So the authors behind a brand new study considered all of the evidence that we have to date to try and figure out what is going on here, and their analysis included a total of nine trials involving almost 31,000 people who had already had heart disease or a stroke. And the overall results strongly favor the effectiveness of colchicine. Those who took the medication saw a 12% reduced risk of heart attacks, strokes, or death from heart disease.